Uh, welcome back. In this session, we're going to look at uh, Wireshark. Okay, uh, so I've opened up the session we had uh, working, we were working with in the last video, where we added a wireless network to uh, uh, a wired network. Again, if you haven't got this, uh, just go back to the last video here in the series. Um, uh, first thing I'm going to do is start the network running. Okay, and uh, uh, what I'm going to use here is a tool called Wireshark. Wireshark is a network analyzer. It can uh, capture or look at packets that are transferring across your network. Okay, so let's say if I go here to say node 5 here, and if I right click and come down to Wireshark, click on the Ethernet port, okay, and then Wireshark roll up. Okay, so you can see there it's starting to capture packets uh, already. Uh, so there's a few IC. Uh, some MTNS. Okay, uh, again, while that's uh, doing something like that, I could carry on over here and and maybe say set a ping in operation. Um, so, for instance, um, let me take this one here. No, sorry, let, let's use the one to two tool here. Okay, and source node here, destination node here. Uh, let's run a ping. Okay, happily going there. And if I come down along the left hand side here, I can see the little shark icon, so I'll click on that. Okay, and I can see all the packets then, so again, a lot of packets are starting to be uh, captured now. Okay, back here in the net, I'll just close this, so I can see the route that was running. Okay, and let's see what... Now, Wireshark is still capturing packets, so I'm going to click this icon here to stop capturing. Okay, uh, and just let's work with what we have at the moment. Okay, so you can see I have a few different packets, um, types here. I've got an ARP request, or address resolution protocol. Again, if I double click on that, you can see here I get up the packets. Okay, so I can see the frame uh, there, scrolling down. I can see the internet, uh, either ethernet um, uh, there, scroll down further. And uh, the address resolution protocol request there as well. Okay, uh, so I can see the size, I can see the uh, <coughs> the sender MAC and the sender IP, and the target MAC and the uh, MAC address and the target IP address. Okay, so again, I can see the bytes for all of those as well. Again, uh, I can do, I can look at the MDNS, okay, or multicast, multicast DNS, and again, look at the packets and examine them. Uh, Again, let's look at the datagram. I, the, again, I can see uh, the uh, the source port 5353, which is a multicast port. Um, and uh, again, uh, the length. And so all the information I may need uh, in relation to any particular query, I can see them all on this. Okay, uh, I'll just uh, close that. Again, with Wireshark, I can also do a filter. Uh, okay, I can... Uh, type in ARP, okay, hit return, and it just shows me the ARP requests uh, there. Uh, let's do MDNS, uh, MDNS, okay, hit return, and there's the MDNS, uh, and these are all from the ones we've just captured uh, there. Okay, uh, again, uh, Wireshark is a tool really for examining uh, the protocols and the uh, packets that are transferring across your network. Again, um, we can set up uh, a host um, with HTT or uh, FTP or something like that and examine packets that are coming across as well. Of course, as, as well, you, as you can see here, we're only on an emulator, but the, again, we could have easily uh, have installed Wireshark on a real network and just c capture packets there. Okay, uh, that's just a quick one on Wireshark. I'll just when I when you again mouse over the top here, you can see a lot of. Uh, again, if you want to ha get into Wireshark in a really big way, you can go to Wireshark.org. Again, it's an open source tool, and everything you need to know is is there. Okay, I'll close that. I'm gonna click close, and I'm gonna quick quit without saving the analyzer there, and I can stop the session running. Okay, uh, that's a quick introduction to Wireshark. Thank you for your attention.